Hi, my name is Hassan Al-Jabri and uh, this is another episode of Empowerment uh, Dose, which I call Empowerment Workshop. Uh, let's talk today about uh, self-awareness and uh, happiness. Actually, this is all we need there. Uh, I mean, uh, after what happened around the world, in our situation at work, at home, and uh, our social life, a lot of things changes. So this is a very important topic and I want to share with you a simple slide actually, and uh, one story only. I don't want to make it uh, much longer. So let's start away right away, okay? So the road to self-awareness and happiness. And this is one of the uh, Hospitality Deep Dive Network uh, which present uh, empowerment workshop. I, I present this is empowerment workshop. And actually that uh, 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 if anyone is interested, uh, employer or, uh, or organization, just select a topic, inspire your team and we'll prepare the slides and uh, content and deliver to you. Okay, okay, let's start. Actually, I, I like to start with the quotation. If you are authentic self, you have no competition. You will not bother to look around you. Who's doing the best? Who's doing the, you know, you come to the office in the morning. Oh, who's, wh what happened to someone office? What, no, just concentrate your work. Do what you can. Be yourself. So that's how he's teaching us. Stop looking for happiness in the same place you lost it. And this is many we tend to look to repeat our, we can say this, you cannot say it's a mistake, but we repeat because, you know, we repeat in the same process and nothing happened. We keep repeating, uh, you know, same application and nothing happened. So to come out uh, from that process, you need to come out of your comfort zone. And that's the problem. Uh, majority of uh, people, they don't want to come out of their comfort zone, either they are afraid of failing, afraid of embracing the, the, the themselves. So that's the quote about uh, uh, that. When you think you are not happy with your life, always think that someone is happy simply because you exist. What that does, what that, 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 you know, what is that mean? Meaning that each one of us, each one of you, each single of you, you have a purpose, you know, and, uh, and the people keep talking about these things. So you felt that you are low and you, you have no use in this world or you have no use in the office or you have no use in the society. But believe me, there is someone very happy to see you, very happy that you are there, okay? And then you'll come to know, uh, well, when we pass uh, through this uh, uh, short, inspiring uh, uh, real life story. So the power of energy, spirit of loving kindness, com kindness, compassion, and heartwarming care, okay? Uh, is the path to your happiness and others around you. If you're happy, People around you, do, they are going to sense that positive energy around you. If you are sad, frustrated, honestly, nobody will be, you know, like when they see you, they will have afraid even to come close to you. Believe me. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's the situation. So, you heard about inspiring, let's move to another slide, is that uh, there's a question here that you heard the inspiring story of Kenneth Eugenie Bering. Okay, let me share with you this story. Kenneth uh, was born in 1928 in Illinois and passed away 19, uh, 2019 in California. He was a multimillionaire, American real estate developer, former owner of the National Football League Seattle Seahawks and a founder of Wheelchair Foundation. He never, he never, he was never happy. I mean, his life had gone through three stages uh, and all these three stages, but, but never feel fulfilled or happy. He always felt something missing in his life. 
and that is proof that uh, money cannot buy happiness. Yes. Okay. So he passed through the first stage, bought the houses, the car, the boat, the aeroplane, all of the usual boy toys, you know, and yet he was not happy. Still, he went to the second stage, let me then buy better stuff. So he bought a better house, you know, better, bigger aeroplane. At the end of the day, he was still, he felt something missing. By the way, this is his real house here, here in the square, not the round one. Yeah, I got from the Google. This is his real house, one of the house, by the way. So the, he, go, he went to this third stage. He said, okay, let me come out. Like he joined a partner. I mean, he bought this a, a big team in Seattle Seahawk in USA. He thought for sure that he, he, if he co on a professional football team, he will be happy. You know, he will be happy. But still, unfortunately, after... He guided, uh, you know, he supported the team, you know, and uh, he was famous in the team. And a lot of people know, knew him, but still, still, still inside him, he says something wrong. Yeah, Kenneth Higini Behring, he was still not happy. So what's wrong there? Anyway, one fine day, uh, his friend invited him to London. He said, uh, can you come with me to Europe? Okay, with his uh, private jet. Okay, we have a function there. I, I would like you to come with me. Just let's change the, you know, the way they change the situation. So Kenneth, he followed his friend. He attended the one charity uh, event there in London, which is handing over the uh, wheelchairs. He picked up one 11 years old boy from the crowd and then gently set him down in the wheelchair. Actually, this boy uh, from Mexico, it was his first time, he was around 11 years old. So it was his first time sitting on the chair and he felt like free, felt free from the ground. You know, he was always like going uh, with his two hands. So when he wanted to believe, the boy, uh, you know, like hold uh, Kenneth's hand. And hand uh, Kenneth is looked back and this boy said, please don't leave me yet. I want to memorize your face so when we meet again in heaven, I can thank you one more time. So that was very touching for Kenneth. He experienced pure joy. When I see, he said, Kenneth, when I see the happiness in the eyes of the people who get the wheelchair, I feel that this is the greatest thing I ever achieved in my life. So since then, all his money, all his fund, he was forwarding to a wheelchair foundation. Kenneth was very happy. Kenneth was satisfied and he found the happiness to make other happy. Can you believe? It was not the other way around to make him happy by buying uh, huge houses and cars. And uh, until now, I think is uh, that the company is still there. It's uh, it's continued by his son, maybe grandson. So let's learn from this real life story of Kenneth, uh, making others happy by showing loving kindness, compassion, and heartwarming care is the fastest way to infuse your life and that of others with authentic love and joy. This is what I call a genuine hospitality which is aimed to do. So the message here also very important to the all hospitality professional. You first must find within you your happiness. You cannot make any customer happy around you. If within you, you are not happy. You don't know what you're doing here. What, what is your purpose there? So I hope this uh, small uh, presentation today will inspire you. I have another quote for you. Self-awareness does not stop you from making mistakes. Actually, it allows you to learn from them. And that's the same thing with Kenneth. I mean, Kenneth, uh, three stages he passed, and that was like a mistake for him or no, but that is a, it's not a mistake, as we said. It's a learning process until he found his happiness, your self-awareness. Uh, this is one of the, my poster, uh, which is promoting my walk and talk empowerment workshop which is going one hour to two hours. 
Okay, you choose a select a topic or I select a topic for you and then we put it together in the slide and then we give to your staff, either online or offline. For booking and inquiries, that's the number and that's my email. Thank you very much until another time. Okay, so uh, we'll meet another time and uh, we'll have uh, another topic to discuss. Uh, the only thing that I will uh, like to hear from you, which topic you like me to talk about. Okay. Uh, and then I will, uh, I can put in the presentation format. So thank you so much and take care and try to be happy.